So I got asked this very question by someone recently, and while I thought it was pretty common knowledge, the answer, I told myself it clearly deserved a whole video. So here goes. So I got asked this very question by someone recently, and while I thought it was pretty common knowledge, the answer, I told myself it clearly deserved a whole video. So here goes. Currently, the widely held belief is that the male prostate is the male version of the G-spot for women. The prostate is a small walnut-sized organ that biological men have. It sits in front of the rectum and under the bladder and a portion of this prostate wraps around the male urethra partially. It functions by secreting fluid into the semen to help sperm successfully reach the egg and penetrate it. It's important for reproduction. The prostate can be best assessed through the anus or rectum, digital rectal exam, and as the largest portion of the prostate can be felt through the wall of the front of the rectum. Okay, that's why we do this digital rectal exam for prostate cancer screening. Now, some believe that the collection of nerves attached to the prostate called the prostatic plexus are responsible for sexual pleasure associated with it. These same nerves are distributed to the corporate cavernos of the penis. Remember, the corporate cavernos are the columns, the two columns that engorge with blood that allow for a rigid erect penis. And these nerves are distributed to the male urethra. And so multiple theories exist as to the connection between the prostate and it being a the arousal zone for men. But you may be surprised to find out that there actually is yet to be hard, conclusive evidence that the prostate is indeed the male G-spot. In a study from the Journal of Sexual Medicine in 2023, scientists interviewed 30 men who engaged in receptive anal intercourse. That means that they were penetrated anally and found that the area where the anterior or front part of the rectum met the prostate or just deeper to this was recognized by many of these participants as their G-spot. And so is it this collection of nerves from the prostatic plexus that involve both the penis and the urethra that activate and result in sexual pleasure in this area? We don't know for sure, but it would seem that a decent number of penis owners would agree that their prostate is an erogenous zone. So there you have it, the male G-spot, aka the prostate. Let me know what you think. I'm really curious to see these comments. Let me know below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe so you can join and learn all things down there, right here with board certified urologist, your favorite urologist, your girl, Dr. Milhouse, right here every week. Bye.